to my channel. Today we are going to be talking about our summer school schedule. That is a lot of S's. <laughs> and I'm excited just to tell you kind of what our routine is during this summer because it's a little different than the rest of the school year. So if you're new to my channel, I created this channel as a homeschooling resource to give you kind of curriculum ideas, sort of like we're doing today, give you organizational ideas and ways to invite Christ into your homeschool space. So if you're interested in those things, please hit that subscribe button. And let's talk about our summer routine. So I am not one of those moms that does full blown homeschool all year round. <laughs> I need a break, and so I take my break. So if you need a break, take a break. And so during the school year, we have a lot more projects. We have a little bit more intensive learning, I guess, going on than we do right now. It's a little bit more simplified. I still want my kids to keep up on some things, but not so crazy that we're all going crazy and we're not getting a break because I still want them to enjoy summer and to be able to go play. And if we do go on a vacation, we don't have any this summer. But maybe one day, if we go on a vacation ever again, then they can enjoy that and not have to worry about schoolwork stuff. So I made this schedule. I know it's gonna be kind of hard to see. I'll link it in my blog post below, just if you're interested kind of to see the outline. I just made it in Word. And I made a slot for each of my kids over here. And then just some of the things that we're gonna go through. So I'm gonna go through a little bit with you about that and just kind of talk take you through our days and just let you know how it goes. And so every day we do scriptures in the morning and that's from the Come Follow Me book that I do. And I think there's one right here. Let me just hold it up so you can see. So this one's the one for June. So my kids in the morning, we just work through the activity that's for that day and talk a little bit about the scriptures and start our day learning about Christ. So that's the first thing we usually do. And then we've been starting to do mindfulness. I've really been liking going through the books and doing some of the activities. My kids will grab their pillows because I grabbed a pillow the first day because our carpet sheds, not our carpet, but the rug sheds like crazy. And I didn't want my, my pants and my bum to get all hairy. So I put a, a pillow down and so they've continued to do the same. So now we have a little pillow party and we sit in our pillows and we meditate. <laughs> And so it's been fun. It's been, you know, maybe like a minute, a minute and a half. It's really short, but my oldest that is autistic is in the room with us, but he hasn't been joining us yet. So he's required to be in the room, but he's not required to do it. So hopefully he'll join us eventually. We'll see how it goes. Okay, so the next thing that we do is math and we do it Monday, Wednesdays, and Thursdays. <laughs> and it's just mostly review. Some of it are, we only did school three days last year because we did activities on some of the other days. So uh, the Moffat Girls curriculum is enough, I think for five days. And so we still have lots to do. <laughs> we still have a lot of extra work. And so we're doing that into the summer. So I just pull out their workbooks that are on some of the concepts we haven't talked about. They have some of the ones we have talked about and some of the worksheets they didn't do. So they might do some of those some days or some of the new content. It just kind of depends how we're feeling. And I let them pick two pages that they can do. And that seems to be working really well, especially since they get to choose what it is. So they have fun like flipping through their books and seeing what they can do. So that's, that's that. And then we also do a ST math, which is a computer type game. We go to a charter school one day a week. And so we get access to some of these programs through them. And it's not necessarily my favorite. This last week we played ABC Mouse because my ST math can be a little frustrating since it is this computer game. It's not fine tuned. <laughs> so it has a lot of little quirks and they make it a little difficult. Let me know if, you, if you've if you tried it, if you like it or if there's another math program that you like. We don't do it for very long, only like 15, 20 minutes once a week. And so I'm not about having my kids on a lot of computer programs and stuff but it's just something a little different. And so we usually do that on Tuesdays as kind of a break, like they still get doing math and workbooks three of the other days, but then that day they're not. So, so that's kind of what we're doing with that. And then also on, let's go through the days now, cause those are things that we try to do every day. All the kids are doing those same things. And then also reading, I forgot to mention reading. So we've been doing reading and my oldest, is a fairly quick reader. He's going into third grade and my husband made a deal with him 
because he gets so focused on Pokemon. Like that's his kind of fixation, being autistic is Pokemon. And so if you can make a deal that involves Pokemon somehow, you usually can get him to co cooperate pretty well. And so he gets, I don't know if it's one Pokemon card for every book or every five books he reads. And so my husband got a whole bunch of A to Z mystery, I think is what they're called from the library. <laughs> and within that first day, he had read like five books in like two hours. So I don't know if this was a good deal or not. We're gonna, <laughs> he's gonna end up owing him lots of Pokemon cards. I think now he wants to read, he wants to get a packet of cards at, by the end of the summer. So I think now it's like, oh, if you read 50 books, then I'll buy you a packet. So I don't know. <laughs> all the negotiations that have been going on. But so that's helped him to do like summer reading where otherwise it would be really rough and several tantrums to get him to read. My daughter has just been continuing with a Becca reader. She just reads a little bit to us on Monday, Wednesday, Thursday, the same days they do math. And then my youngest, we haven't started, not my youngest, my youngest that's in school right now. He's my kindergartner. We haven't started doing a whole bunch of stuff with him yet with reading, but he is doing handwriting stuff every day. He pulls out his book and is very, very excited <laughs> to do all the handwriting in it. So he's doing that. So I'll probably do some reading with him. My husband sometimes does some reading with him at night as he's putting them to bed. So we'll, we'll see how that goes. And then on Mondays, we try to do a craft. I put that down on the schedule so that, that we would do something that's a little different. So this last week we just pulled out one of the Michaels crafts I'd gotten from this haul up here. You can look at it and check out that video if you want. And so we just pulled out one of those. Sometimes it'll be something different or if we're doing nature schooling or journal journaling, they can just have a picture from that. So just to be a little bit more intentional <laughs> about doing crafts and things like that. And then on Tuesdays we have cooking or baking. I really love to cook and to bake. It's one of my favorite things to do. And I grew up in the kitchen with my mom and my grandma, and that's where my love for it comes from. So I want to also create those intergenerational ties with my kids. And I'm not the most patient person. I'm very, I'm OCD and just want things like just so. <laughs> so having kids in the kitchen is a struggle for me. And I know how important it is to have them learn these things, but it also stresses me out. And so having a day where it can just kind of be like whatever a kid's baking or cooking day makes it a little bit easier. So a couple weeks ago we made banana bread and they had a fun time doing that and mashing up bananas and mixing everything. And then this last week we made French bread. So I have this French bread, like a big long rolled up loaf that we've had it, I don't even know whose recipe it is, but my, my grandma has it in a really old recipe book. And so I've used it, I use it enough that I have it memorized and stuff, but I pulled out the recipe book, have my daughter read it and pull out ingredients and measuring cups to try to get used to reading a recipe. And that turned out really well, we all love it. So I had to make soup, so, cause we had bread, so we had to eat it. <laughs> cause fresh bread, what's better than that? So that's really been fun. And sometimes it'll just be, here's a box of cupcake mix. I personally don't like box mixes unless my kids are making them for themselves because I like to bake from scratch. But if it's something just simple and easy they can do by themselves, then I'll give it to them and let them make cupcakes and they love decorating. So I'll just buy the frosting and the containers and let them go to town. <laughs> so that's been really fun for us is doing that. And then a few other things. So my oldest does typing on Tuesdays and I just am doing typing.com. I know there's several online programs that are free. So he started doing that. He likes it, but gets frustrated, <laughs> frustrated about it because he has to keep his hands on the keys. And he's like, I can type faster if I don't. And I'm like, not eventually you won't like, it'll be way faster to leave him on the keys. So we'll see how that goes. And then my two middle kids are in let's play music. Not, it doesn't run during the summer, but their teacher gives us some summer packets to do. So on Tuesdays and Fridays, they do two little boxes that she has a little maze. I was gonna hold it up for you and I forgot to grab it, but it's like a little maze that they can go through and it has boxes that have different assignments in each one and then they cross them off. So they have to do three to five a week to be done by the end of the summer. And so we do four. <laughs> And so they do two on one day and two on the other. 
And so that's been fun and we just do some music stuff with them in practice. And then my two middle kids again also are doing American Sign Language. So they have their ASL class on Wednesday mornings, but we're practicing on Tuesdays and Fridays, I believe. And so we just, well, they just started it last week. One of my good friends from high school is teaching it online. And so we've been taking it from her. They learned about the alphabet. So they, we just sit and practice the alphabet. They practice spelling their names and practice numbers. And then this next week they'll be practicing family members because that's what they just learned as well. So, so that's what we do. And then I also want to work with my youngest. She has some speech issues. <laughs> Some struggles, so did my the next oldest that's in kindergarten. But it's been hard to get into speech lang like language pathology. I don't know, speech language. I don't know what I'm trying to say why I can't. <laughs> Anyways, you know what I mean. We haven't been able to speech therapy. I'm like mixing the two things. Okay, speech therapy. We haven't been able to get her into that because of life in the world is crazy. So they haven't had testing and they might have testing in September, but it's still undecided. So I wanted to try to just work with her with some things. I'm not an expert at that kind of stuff. I took one class in college because of it was a human development class for language. So I took that class. <laughs> I'm not an expert at all, but I thought we could just practice spe speaking a little bit and go through her ABCs and practice sounds and just try to help any way I can and just be a little bit more focused that way. So then on Wednesdays, my oldest has piano lessons. And then my two middle kids have ASL lessons. So we do that. And then on Thursdays, that the only thing I think that's different is they do Lexia. I, one of my kids does it on Thursdays and one does it on Friday. It's a reading program, again, that's available to us from this charter program, this charter school we go to. So they do that. And then on Fridays, we play games. We have been trying to do game schooling on Fridays, so that's still what we're doing is just playing some games and having some fun and then we do music again and ASL practice and things like that. So that's kind of our summer in a nutshell. And hopefully it all makes sense, but I'd love to hear what your guys' plans are for summer, what you're doing to incorporate school. Are you still sticking with the same, like a more expanded, I don't know, schedule that you do throughout the normal school year? Or did you do something different or, whatever it is, I love to hear it. So just put it down in the comments below. And then also we have been finishing the United States geography curriculum. We're almost done, I think we have a few more weeks. So every week we're just talking about that and there's some crafts that accompany that. So we're gonna do like the Hoover Dam and see if our dams are strong enough to hold up water and then make a volcano. I think it's for Oregon or Washington State. So we have some fun activities going on with that. And then we're gonna do some more in our science which is talking about flowers. So I thought this is a good time to do that. And there's a few units in that. I think it's maybe six or eight weeks. And so just going through some of the things about flowers and stems and all that kind of stuff. So we have a, a few things going on, but then we also just kind of chill out. <laughs> it only takes my kids maybe an hour, usually less to finish all their stuff in the morning. And they usually do it right when, right after they eat breakfast. So by 10 o'clock, they're usually done with everything. and. They go play and have fun and we enjoy the summer. Even though it does not feel like summer here right now, it's like 50 degrees. It's like freezing this week. <laughs> it's rained a lot yesterday, but it's supposed to be in the 90s next week. So will the weather just make up its mind? Anyways, I'm rambling on and on, but I hope you're enjoying your summer. Again, I just love to hear what you guys are doing. So comment those down below. And if you like these kind of videos, give me a thumbs up and we will see you next time.